Today I am going to discuss about uh, G.P. Thomson experiment. This topic belongs to quantum mechanics lesson. This is very easy concept. Here G.P. Thomson performed experiments with electrons accelerated from 10,000 to 50,000 volts. In his experiments he observed diffraction patterns exactly similar to X-ray patterns. Moreover he was able to determine the wavelengths associated with electrons. Thomson experiments supported the concept of matter waves since the diffraction pattern is possible only if the waves are associated with the material particle. So according to old theory like uh, electrostatics free electron theory like uh, we are thinking that the nature of electrons are particle nature we are thinking like that but G P Thomson proved uh, in quantum mechanics the electrons are associating a wave motion so the electrons follows wave that means like uh, a light okay for this experiment in this experiment the experimental arrange arrangement is shown in this uh, figure. Uh, the high energy electron beam is produced at cathode C. This is cathode C. Here it produces electrons here. The beam is excited with uh, potentials up to 50,000 volts. Already we told 10,000 to 50,000 volts of cathode. This is a fine pencil of electron beam obtained by passing it through the slit S. This is slit. A pencil beam like electrons moves in this path. Then the accelerated fine beam of electrons falls on film G made up of gold or aluminum having small thickness that means very thin film nearly 10 power minus 6 centimeter. The photograph of beam from thin foil is recorded on the photographic plate P. The total setup is placed in a vacuum chamber so that electrons may not lose their energy due to collisions with molecules of the gas. So this is cathode it releases electrons with 50,000 volts. This is slit S, this is C, this is S and this is G. Here a thin film or very small thickness film, very thin film uh, made with uh, gold or aluminum. Then this is photographic plate. Photographic plate uh, uh, records this photo of this pattern. Okay. So, then whenever electron accelerated from this cathode the electron moves like this and uh, touches the surface of the thin film then the electrons gets diffracted and uh, they moves in different paths. The paths are recorded on this photographic plate and uh, the entire entire system is uh, enclosed in a vacuum chamber here then this if you observe this photographic plate after developing we get like this this is central spot and uh, this is diffraction pattern this is called fringes also so in case of diffraction diffraction we get uh, a central maxima here then these are secondary maximas okay after developing the plate, a symmetrical pattern consisting of concentric rings about a central spot is obtained as shown in the figure. This pattern is similar to similar as produced by electron uh, X-rays. So this pattern also similar to X-rays. In X-rays, we uh, generally observe powder method. In case of powder method, we get like this or crystal uh, method okay in order to make sure that this pattern is due to the electrons 
not due to x rays this pattern is due to of electrons not due to x rays there is no x rays at all generated by the electrons in the air passes through a foil this pattern generated due to their passes through a foil okay the electron beam in the discharge tube is deflected by external magnetic field a shift in electron beam direction has been observed with the applied magnetic field it shows the pattern produced by electrons and not by x rays as x ray pattern are not as affected by electric and magnetic fields this was not affected by electric and magnetic fields just purely the flow of electrons okay the observed rings can be interpreted only by considering the diffraction pattern of the electron beam which is due to the gold or aluminum foil as the diffraction pattern can be can only be produced by waves and not by the particles thomson concluded that electrons behave like waves according to ancient theory electrons are particles but thomson concluded that the electrons behave like waves the following conclusions have been drawn from this experiment thomson experiment clearly demonstrated the existence of matter waves matter waves means a matter associating wave a particle is moving in a wave form matter waves because the diffraction pattern can be produced by the waves due to this diffraction pattern so this electrons also having the nature of light okay thomson calculated the wavelength associated with electrons with the help of the diffraction rings uh, of course both are uh, similar next third point the calculated wavelength obtained by diffraction pattern agree well with the wavelengths ag agree obtained by de broglie's relation here according to de broglie relation lambda is equal to h by mv h is planck's constant uh, like that these wavelength values this wavelength value is substituted in de broglie's relation then that that equation was satisfied there the associated wavelength depends only on accelerating voltage and independent of material of the target that is gold or aluminum that means the wavelength depends only on the accelerating voltage not for not on this target like gold aluminum silver like that so whatever may be the target the wavelength that means the pattern depends upon the voltage that whether that is 10 10000 volts 50000 volts or 40000 volts like that so this is very easy question prepare well thank you